Hey guys, sorry I'm so behind on my uploads. Where we were staying had terrible, terrible, terrible internet and I couldn't get anything to upload, but I'm in new accommodation now. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to get the last two days worth of videos, or is it three days? Time blindness? Anyway, hopefully I'll be able to get all of them to upload now. So keep an eye out because there's going to be a bunch coming at you. Oh my God. There's a galah outside my bedroom window. I wonder if he'll stay there long enough for me to photograph. Oh, he's so cute. Hello. Look, look at this dangerous dog that was barking at me. Look, are you a guard dog? You are, aren't you? Hi, angry little dog. You were doing the big barkings at me, weren't you? Where are you going? Please don't go. Please come back. Bye. Oh, so cute. Oh my god, the doggy door. That's adorable. Oh, doggy. Well, yep, yeah, no, nope, didn't get that. He's got a very dirty beak. I guess he is holding a flower. But could be cuter. He could be holding like a daisy or something. Hmm. I'll try again later. Wow. Today's today's been one of those one of those days. One of those hyper fixation days. Oh God, I just got to chill up my foot. Um, I filmed for three hours straight talking to you guys about something I wanted to talk to you about. And then mm, later in the day, I changed my mind and decided that I don't think that I want to talk about that right now. But anyway, after talking about it, I lay in bed for a while feeling not so good and then I slept Then I woke up at 5 p.m. I think it was or 4 p.m. and I looked out my window and uh, there was the, the bird that you saw earlier and then I decided to follow the bird so I put on my shoes and I went out walking after it and then I arrived back at my room and it was 8 p.m. I was out there for four or five hours and I didn't realize because the sun didn't go down. Uh, it started to get a little bit dark and then I was like, ah, oh, it's getting a little bit dark. You know, maybe it's kind of late in the afternoon. <laughs> you know, it was 8 p.m. I realized I hadn't eaten today. So um, I'm actually eating <laughs> Chris's leftovers from the, the, the dinner that we had at the place where I didn't eat my steak. I took a lot of very cool photos today of interesting and unique birds, but my nominated photo of the day is this. Because um, that's why. That <laughs> just looks so dumb <laughs> so uh yeah that's that's today's photo of the day but um oh yes there's sheep I, I photographed parrots i photographed uh that's a he's a butcher bird i believe i'm pretty sure he's a butcher bird um what else did i find today lots and lots of parrots um ducks yes more minor birds uh well what was that someone flying oh yes um more sheep oh this one <laughs> he wave. He's like, hello, <laughs> got a nisib. Um, ah, yes, flying birds. Um, what else? Uh, parrots. Ah, oh, this was a nice parrot. Mm, very nice parrots. See, that could that that one could totally be a photo of the day, but I I'm not nominating it because it's not dumb. Um, there's more sheep or ducks. And, oh, oh, yes, yes, look, very important. Look, look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at how he's sitting. Um, and we've got ducks flying, mm, magpies. That one's pretty cool. Yes. And ducks, ducks. Oh, wait, actually, I really like this. Mm, which one is it? There's a, 
with this one. Yeah, I was very happy with how that duck turned out. Um, ah, yes, and the butcher bird flying with something in his beak. Oops. I thought this one turned out pretty well too. Um, and then actually the most exciting thing for me was uh, at somewhere around here. Ah, yes, the black cockatoos. I noticed them on the horizon and they were flying towards me and it's the first time I've seen black cockatoos fly over overhead in the wild and I felt very, very special. This little trio just went straight past me and uh, disappeared off into the distance. Oh, and then I also found these little fairy wrens, but it was dark. Like, I had to really rely on the ISO of my camera here because it was nighttime and um, it, it's a very noisy photo because... Yeah, look at this. This is literally like the sun has basically gone down at this point when I found these birds. So I thought oh, I'll just photograph them for my memory because... Oh, oh, yeah, and then the horse, this horse did something creepy. He was just staring at me. I was like, can I help you? And he was like, do you have seed? <laughs> um, and then that horse was really majestic. Um, and also... Um, very well endowed but uh yeah anyway those those are some of my photos for today but um i'm absolutely exhausted uh <laughs> and i can tell you why i know exactly why so you know how i can't have caffeine with my medication you know what aside from coffee has caffeine did you know that chocolate contains caffeine some people don't realize that uh cacao naturally contains caffeine and um, anyway, when I had my picnic, we bought some really yummy, um, interesting flavoured blocks of chocolate to take along. And yesterday, uh, last night, after I got home from that long day of photographing birds, I was so tired and I, I guess I just wasn't really hungry enough to bother going out and finding something to eat so I just reached into my bag and I pulled out some of the chocolate and I demolished the bag of chocolate and then that was at probably like 8 p.m anyway come 3 30 or 4 in the morning I'm I'm still wide awake and uh yeah it was 3 30 and I was like god damn it it's the caffeine in the chocolate and then I forced myself to sleep and then I woke up at 5.30 and I didn't go back to sleep after that. So I only slept for two hours, probably at most. Um, and then I walked for five hours today photographing birds. So I'm absolutely buggered. Good morning, dear friends. There are birds in this fireplace. They were, I just heard that they were right here. They're in here. The, the flute thing goes up through the ceiling. They're like sparrows. I saw them on the outside making a nest and they come down in here. They were tweeting. They're gone now. Oh gosh. I just woke up. I just woke up. I watched the season finale of House of the Dragon and while I was waiting for a video to upload, which is, um, I'm a few days behind. So the video about having the picnic in the park just went live and then it got a copyright claim because I used music from the Apple iMovie music library, which Apple itself says that you're allowed to use. So I had to dispute the copyright claim. But then it said, if you're found to be, um, like lying about the fact that you're allowed to use the music we can terminate your channel and i'm like but but it says i can use it um so if that's if that's the last time that i ever upload a video on this channel it's been great knowing you dear friends <laughs> thank you for watching um now i am going to meet up with arden the npc that arranged the whole picnic uh and i just wanted to show them 
my appreciation because they are also a mod on my Discord server and they do so much for me. And um, I've asked them to come out to Coal River Farm, which is where Lucy, Dan, Max and I ate our last lunch together before um, we parted ways on our last trip. And I loved that food so much and I really, really just want to take Arden out for lunch. So um, I just woke up to my alarm, which was my, oh fuck, I better get ready and leave right now alarm. So I shouldn't be talking, I should be leaving. Please tell me I'm not the only one whose brain says they must do things in the most efficient way possible. So they'll do things like sit on a loo and brush their teeth. Because if I'm the only one that does that, I'm probably gonna have to either learn to plan my time better or change my medication or something. You know, I've, I've just decided to turn on the camera because I wanted to show you how my brain sometimes functions or, or a lack thereof when I'm trying to get somewhere on time. I'm standing here with no pants on. I, I just remembered to change my underwear and I've just, I've been looking for a pair of pants and I've just kind of been like, I don't want to wear these because I've worn these every single day since I arrived in Tasmania. I, I, I literally bought these on the first day that we landed and I haven't changed out of them. Um, I just kind of wanted to show this is what my... Anyway, I was like, I'll just leave, leave the camera running so you can see me actually try to get ready for something. <laughs> deodorant. <laughs> Has bad body issues and can't look at self in mirror. Leaves window like this and gets changed in front of window because doesn't care if anyone else sees or only cares if she sees her own body. <laughs> Make it make sense. Yes, I'm putting a singlet on over the top of my bra. A singlet that has the bra built in. Oh, I know. I thrifted this top. I've been really excited to wear it. Except its sleeves aren't very long. I paid $2 for this. Oh, shit. showered since I got here. I haven't washed my hair in a long time and I didn't brush my teeth yesterday. Hmm. That's cool. There's a pile of things here that I can wear but I don't know. Okay, vintage pants. I, I took these along to give them away, but I ended up really, really liking them. You know, I put, I put them on because it was so cold. And then I was like, these are actually awesome. <laughs> I'm glad that no one claimed them. Um, 
Now what? Okay, look. Is this, is this okay? No. I guess I'm going to wear these black ones again. Same ones that I've worn every day. <sighs> because I couldn't be bothered bringing everything in from the car. I think Arden might actually be there waiting for me. I feel so bad. I only brought one pair of socks. I said I was going to buy more, but socks, <laughs> going to buy socks takes away time that I could be using photographing birds and hanging out with my NPCs and my shoes. Oh my God. That lizard just came out of my boot. Oh, sorry. That, that lizard just came out of my boot. It's not a snake in my boot. It's a lizard. Friend, you're huge. What do I do? Come here. No, excuse me. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you'll starve if you stay in here. No, 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 no. I don't have time for this. No, 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 no. Back. Back the other way. Back, please. No, 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 no. No, back toward the door. I don't want him to drop his tail. Oh, shit. Oh god, the door's locked. Oh, shit. Okay. 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 Gotta box him in with this. We're just going to send you... Out. Oh, he'll make a good thumbnail. Wait, hang on. Just hold still. Hold still. <gasps> okay. You're very friendly, aren't you? You're also very long. Um, Arden, I am late because I went to put my shoe on and this little guy came out of it. So um, I'm just going to send him out now. Off you go. No, 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 off. Yes, I'm enjoying our time together too, but it must come to an end. Time to say goodbye. Well, aside from the fact that uh, I tried to use my car key to lock my accommodation, and I tried to use my accommodation key to start my car, and I put my car in drive instead of reverse and almost crashed into the accommodation, I'm now on my way <laughs> from Missouri to Arden today. Turn left towards Bridge Street C351, then turn left onto Bridge Street. I can do that. Um, going from Missouri to Arden today is a good thing because... Turn I'm left onto Bridge Street C351. Tasmania. Uh, if I were in Sydney, going from Missouri to Arden... Continue for nine kilometers. ...would in fact be a bad thing. <laughs> anyway. No. So, because I'm going from Misery to Arden today in Tasmania, I'm meeting up with a delightful NPC. Going from Misery to Arden in Sydney would be like dooming your child to a future of mental health problems. <laughs> Sorry if you went to Arden and you're mentally stable. Perhaps you were one of the bullies. I didn't go to Arden, but I know a lot of people that did. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm on my way. I would be there a lot faster if this 
MG car wasn't driving so slow. Look, it's an MG. These MG cars, I've literally never seen them before. And now they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> Isn't that weird how like, you, that you'll notice something once and then the first time you notice it, you just see it everywhere from that moment onwards. MGs. We just drove past a place called Littlewood Berry Farm. And I drove past that same place when I was here on my trip with uh, Lucy and Dan and Max. And that was, what, 30 days ago? And the plants in that berry farm were tiny, tiny little shrubs with no fruit on them. And they were covered in strawberries just then. It's crazy what a difference a month makes. I, damn, god damn, I should, you know those plants that I bought to put in the aviary? In the aviary, sorry? Oh my god, oh my god, oh, that field had a whole bunch of seagulls in it. Sorry, um, what was I saying? Ah oh, yes, the plants that I bought for the aviary. I should have put them in the ground before I left because they'd be thriving right now if I had. Yeah, why am I like this? This place is called Malcolm's Hut Road. And anyone that's watched The Witcher, <laughs> you, you might understand why every time I drive past that sign, I feel a little bit creeped out. Malcolm's Hut. No, thank you. I do not wish to turn down Malcolm's Hut Road. Look, the, the Puddle Duck Vineyard. Now that, that sounds inviting. Uh, I don't even care about going to get wine. I just really want to go to Puddle Duck Vineyard. And if there is, in fact, not a, a puddle with a duck in it, I'm going to ask for a, a refund. <laughs> it says everything ducky, duck shop. Oh my God. Wow, Google Maps is like freakishly accurate said that it would take five minutes and uh, I've been recording for four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. By the time that I pull in and park, will it have been five minutes? Is Google in fact that accurate? Okay, my camera says 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 50. Ah! <laughs> they slowed down! Um, 58, 59? It's been five minutes. Google is freakishly accurate. How incredibly bizarre. <laughs> okay, uh, if I pull up here, I bet Arden's sitting somewhere there. If there's someone sitting there alone in that window, no, no um, staff of Coal Valley Farm. I have not stood them up. <laughs> I'm here now. A wizard is neither late nor early. They arrive exactly as they intend to. Enjoy the high cheese. Welcome. Look, you walk in and you walk past a selection of things that they make. And then you walk past all these amazing looking truffles. And then you keep walking and you look for your friend who's over there sitting alone. <laughs> Oops, I slipped. I cannot apologize enough. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you look so cool. Can I show what you look like? Okay. What are you wearing? Where did you get this? Oh my god, your patch. Oh my gosh, you look so fucking cool. You know, I should be. Uh, yeah, I interrupted. Where did you get everything? Oh, wow. Well, what is this? Uh, no, it's actually the uh, Hammer of Thor. It's Mjolnir. Oh, Mjolnir. But it's rainbow because. Yeah, that's so cool. Because Odin's the All Father, not the yeah. Sun Father. Oh. Right, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good morning, dear friends. Uh, you were probably wondering that's why it's me back at Pastel HQ. Um, yeah, I had a little incident with uh, Archie last night, as you can see. He uh, took a big chunk right out of my nose. Um, it's the first time he's done it to me, but he's tried to do it to Alex a few different times. Um, so, yeah, it's Alex says it's very hard to work with Archie. It is extremely hard to work with Archie sometimes when he's in a mood. Yeah, he gave me about two seconds notice and I tried to pu push him away from biting my hand and that pushed him towards my face. So, but 
I've been tasked with uh, getting the little munchkin. Ah, uh, yes, breakfast time. Very good. Very good. Um, to open a parcel. And I'm not worried about picking him up now because he's in a good mood. But, you know, I've already handled him since. I think that's important, not just for the bird to, after he, he bites you pretty badly, but also yourself and your own understanding of how they um, were feeling and like just just once like if that was on your finger you wouldn't worry but because he was on my shoulder and I tried to push him away and then he fell and sort of and then went for my face yeah it's important to handle him so let me pull him out again he hates the camera that was part of the problem so I'll put the camera over here so you can see Archie, over here. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Still a good boy. Just, uh, you have to work with a bird as long as you can. But, if you want to step up, good boy. Now it's my parcel. Mm -hmm. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, little poop. Good boy. Oh, we have this, which is some sort of dress. Ooh, yeah, I think it's a little, little, <laughs> but uh, it is $29, and on the description, oh, there's a little card, ah, it just says thank you. So it's from Noble Park, Victoria, Salvos, and it's a women's formal dress, midi dress gold slash maroon. Well, I don't know whether this is a case of the dress is either blue or it's yellow, but this is not maroon. <laughs> it's, um, not gonna lie, it feels pretty cheap and, um, velvety, but not the good velvet, kind of like you've gone down to the local shop. Oh, where are you up to? But yeah, this is day number, who knows, maybe 40 at this point. Kind of lost track, I'm sure you guys have too. But yeah, there we go. And in, when Alex comes back, she can try it on. I don't think this will fit me. <laughs> All right, guys, back to Alex. Oh, good morning, dear friends. I just woke up to what I as a person with extreme anxiety, would consider a very terrifying phone call. Um, I made a booking last night to go to um, what's called the Raptor Refuge. Uh, and sorry, I'm looking for my beanie because my hair looks really bad. Um, but I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see where it is. <laughs> not that I really care about what I look like. Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Sorry. As I was saying, um, I made a booking at the Raptor Refuge because so many of you uh, local Tasmanians had recommended that I go. And um, a few days ago, I'd sent an email to the Raptor Refuge just asking, uh, you know, I'd like to organise a personal tour because I'm a photographer and I'd like to take some photos and I attached some images of the sort of photos that I was hoping to get and just wanted to see if, you know, they, they could organise a private tour so that I could get up close to some of the birds and take some good photos of them, you know, to sell on Redbubble and things like that. Um, so originally I wasn't going to film there because I, before I extended my trip, I was like, I've only got a limited amount of time to film videos. So I just sent an email about just coming to take photos and I hadn't actually decided whether or not I was going to book it. And um, they'd replied to me and said, yeah, that's fine. You, you know, you're a photographer. Cool. You can come and take photos. Um, just make a booking on the website. So when I made the booking on the website, there was a little box that said um, special notes or special requirements or something like that. And I just said, I'm filming a series and I'd like to take videos. And I just woke up to my phone ringing and it was someone from the refuge and he sounded really angry. He was like, you didn't say in your email that you were going to be filming anything. Um, and I was like, I, I, I'm sorry, like, I don't have to. And he, he was like, no, it's not that. It's just you, you never mentioned that, you know, 
uh, you said you were coming to take photos. You didn't say anything about videos. And I was like, I hadn't decided if I was going to make a video or not. And then he was like going on about how, well, we have photographers from all over the world coming here and taking photos and I hope, you know, I just want to clarify that you're not expecting some sort of special treatment or something because you're making a video. And I was, I was like, he said, you know, you're not going to get any special, you know, pri like access inside the aviaries or something. I can't, like, I just, I don't really remember what half of what he said because my, my anxiety condition, when people talk to me in a certain way, he was very kind of like, I, I mean, I'm sure that's probably just what he talks like, but I just felt, I felt like I'd done something wrong and I was on the verge of tears and I was like, I just, I just want to come and just turn on my iPhone and like maybe ask a couple of questions like how old is this bird? How long have you been running the sanctuary and things like that? Um, yeah, I almost cried. I'm sure he didn't mean for that, but he just kept saying like, he just kept saying, you never said it in your email. You never said it in your email. And I was like, yeah, cause I hadn't decided whether or not I wanted to make a video. And now I'm like, oh God, I don't want to make a video. <laughs> I'm scared now. And then he, when he, he was kind of like, yeah, well, you, do you know how many people come here and take photos and videos? And he said, well, if you're going to be filming, can we get a plug of some sort? You know, can you promote us? And then I was like, well, yeah, like almost a million people watch me. So, I mean, that's the whole point of the, the video that I'd be visiting your refuge and pr promoting you. Um... <laughs> And then he kind of, then he changed his tone of voice and then he became really friendly. But now I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like most people would probably be able to cope with a conversation like that, but I'm, I'm just like shaking now. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, now I was really looking forward to going, but now I'm a bit scared, but the, the guy said he's not the one that's going to be taking me on the private tour. There's a, so a, a lady who's going to be taking me around. So um, I just, he said that she'll be fine being on camera and I can ask her questions and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just, just a bit nervous now. But you know how birds calm my anxiety so much. So hopefully, hopefully I won't feel so upset or scared when I look at the birds hopefully I'll just be like ah big bird and then everything everything will just poof, out of my mind so uh, I'm just sitting in the window here minding my own business trying to take photos of the birds as they fly past and I I look across because I see some movement hello I was going to say an intruder but I guess to be honest I'm the intruder in this situation looks like this guy's lived here for a lot longer than I have. Oh, good, he's moving. Wonderful. Is your name Gary as well? He looks pretty friendly. I don't, I don't think he's gonna jump on me. I mean, he, he's very close to me, but I think if I leave him alone, he will leave me alone. Sir, please, please don't come inside. I'm, I'm sorry, you're not, you're not actually welcome in here. Um, uh, no, 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 sir. sir uh, uh, I don't think you quite understand. Your your home is um, in the crack of the door. Uh, not not there. I'm afraid that if you if you don't move, I'm going to have to shut the door, which will squash you. Okay. All right. I'm glad I'm glad that we were able to come to an agreement. Thank you. If you wouldn't mind just staying there, please. If you could just respect the boundaries of the building, that would be great. Something equally hilarious and terrifying just happened. I was just sitting in the room and I looked across and there were some ravens sitting on the fence over there. And I was like, oh yes. And I came running over here and without thinking, I just leant here to stabilize myself. And I was here for like five minutes taking pictures of the ravens, which turned out well for me because I got an excellent photo of the day, but I forgot about uh, this guy. And when I remembered, 
my soul left my body because I looked down and he was just kind of like putting his little hands out like he wants it but anyway let me show you the photo of the day or at least what I I think at the moment is the current photo of the day and this one well I say current photo of the day because I am going to the raptor sanctuary and I may get something better than that Actually, I, I most likely will get something better than that, but um, I'm still very happy with it. So, I want to get in some last minute practice before I go to the raptor sanctuary, uh, because I want to make sure that every single photo that I take today at that place uh, is incredible. Um, and I'm still, I'm happy with my camera settings as I've worked them out, but uh, I'm, going to try to get in some last minute practice and there's heaps of birds down by the dam uh, and oh, also flying around in the sky so even though they aren't particularly interesting birds they're just minor birds uh, no bird is too big or too small for my camera and my photography and with the dumb bird series minor birds are quite literally perfect dumb birds they are the look there's Three minor birds chasing a raven out there. I missed it. If I was out there right now, I could have photographed that. Anyway, I'm going to camp out under a bridge by the dam. So, come with me on a tour of the property. Um, this is the building, and there's a whole bunch of different paddocks that you can visit. It's all part of this place. As far as the eye can see, Simba, everything that the light touches is uh, owned by the people that own the place that I'm staying at. So you're allowed to walk on it. If you can see it, you can walk on it. Unless there's a sign that says electric fence, at which point I advise you do not climb over that. Um, see that area down there that's all full of water? That was all grass yesterday and I was walking around on there. Oh, look, duck, duck, fuck duck, fuck it. Oh, hang on, hang on, shit, hang on. Look, I'm just going to put you next to this enormous pile of poo. Mm. All right. Come with me again. Please observe how I've been getting over this fence. housing stick over my camera. I don't mind getting wet. I don't mind getting the vintage coat wet. I must protect the baby. Oh, even though the camera is water resistant and the coat probably not so much. That toddler is very angry. Um, you know, she's got my photography priorities straight. Wreck the clothes, save the equipment. Oh God, this is very treacherous terrain. There's actually a footpath there. Uh, but instead I chose violence. Okay. So where should I put you? I'm just gonna leave you to watch because you may find it tranquil listening to the sounds of the angry bird screaming at me. And you can just watch while I wait for a duck to come along and hopefully not notice me. Absolute fucking moron. Look. 
I, I was squatting under the bridge so the birds wouldn't see me. That's right behind me. It's all right. It's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. It's fine. Everything's fine.